Mark, sum that up for me. A 3-2 win in the last minute against your local rivals. Great way to start the new year. Yeah, fant fantastic way to start the new year. I mean, Henry, that game had everything, didn't it? And, um, you know, like I said, if, you, if you're looking at probably... There's a lot of players there who probably haven't got as much experience in big games like that. And it takes experience in games like that. And we probably got caught out of a little bit of sloppiness here and there. But, you know, that, that young group again has rallied. They've shown character, desire, determination and never say die attitude. And uh, we kept kept trying to force force their arm. You know, it was it was end to end. It was... Uh, it's not very happy with his banging in the boots. But um, it was, um, yeah, end to end. It had everything. And we, we were trying to shield the players from the emotion of the game. So we could have absolute clarity in, and how we were trying to deliver our game plan. And, uh, you know, we got caught out a few times. A little bit of sloppiness. Um, but again, we're playing against a very good side. In a, in a, and as much as you shield them for it, we're all well aware of, of how big this game is and the magnitude and what it means to our fans. And if anything, it was probably a little bit of, of nerves, a little bit of lack of lack of uh, clarity or awareness. What happens when you're in the, in the adrenaline fueled derby game that this is? And, uh, but we grew into the game and we only got stronger. We got stronger in our in our first game. I thought we started the first half um, similar again, uh, but second half we always felt we could get strong, and uh, we certainly did that. And um, like I said, I'm so proud of the lads for, for, the, for the attitude and the, and the mentality they're showing at the moment. I guess it's exactly, isn't it? You know, the changes that were made, obviously Dag and we made a number of changes. The players that maybe didn't play in that game have come back in today and they proved their worth today. Yeah, absolutely. And, and um, you know, this, this period of where we've had, you're forgetting at Woking, I, we had no staff at all. Everyone was wiped out. We've had a couple of other bits of COVID. We've got players coming back, Giles Phillips. We've got other players nursing a few bits and pieces. So you've got to be so careful over this over this Christmas period because I've said we've been so cruelly hurt and still are. I mean, look, look what's sitting in the stand watching the game at the moment. You know, we've got some big players. So um, we've got to look after everyone because we've got to finish this. This league is so unforgiving and we, we've got to make sure that we get our players fit and strong. And if you push them too hard too soon, they break. Um, so, you know, we've, we've, we had to manage the, the three games. I think we've just about got it the best we could. We're bitterly disappointed at Dagenham. There wasn't a lot in the game get very against a very good Dagenham side. So we're showing that we're organised and hard to beat. Um, we've got to keep wanting more, got to keep wanting to grow and get better and, um, you know, address the balance of, um, you know, defending well but also attacking well. And second half, we certainly did that. I thought we defended magnificently, but we attacked with a little more threat. Maybe when the game opens up a little bit, maybe you saw a little bit more freshness and I thought, the, you know, the physicality of our players, I always felt that we were going to create chances second half. I think that's thing as well, it showed a lot of character to come back, you know, a goal behind early on, you know, second half, we come straight back out, Jaden Harris gets the equaliser like that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and look, Kells come out the team. He had Kingstonian, he had his minutes at Dagenham as well. So he was, he was, he's, he's had his minutes and we topped him up. Uh, and then when he came on the pitch, he set up one and scored one. So, you know, those minutes at Dagenham were vital because it's, it's hard, you know, we train hard, we work hard. We, everyone trains just as hard as each other. We do exactly the same with all of them. So they're all ready to take their chance, but you can't beat those match minutes and being able to top him up and a few other players against Kingstonian and Dagenham is just, uh, you know, we saw the benefit of that and the impact that he had and, and the other subs when they come on, Tommy Willard. Um, so it was, um, yeah, we just just about got the job done by the skin of our teeth in, a, in an action-packed day, but I'm so pleased to reward our travelling faithful. We were absolutely magnificent. I think that's the thing as well, because the players who maybe didn't start the game have come on, made the difference, and ultimately won the game. It just shows it's a whole squad game rather than just the first 11. Oh, I can't, you know, I can't, can only echo what you just said there. Everyone's just as important as each other. Um, one team might start it, another team will finish, but the team that finishes is just as important that starts it. So it's, uh, you know, we've got to, um, you know, we rely on every single plan. That's why we work so hard in training. They all do. Um, and, that we, you know, all of them are sharing the same attitude and fight at the moment. And we've got to keep fueling that and, it, and keep pushing each other, pushing, pushing uh, starts. When you come on, you've got to go and take your chance. Uh, and we've got to keep asking questions of me and we've got to keep asking questions of the opposition. And, that, and that's all you can ask for from your players. Of course, you've written history as, in this game as, as a player. Now you've come in and made history as a manager as well. It must be great for you. Uh, yeah, 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 listen, the uh, last couple of times I've been here has been, a, has, has been you know, special moments for me. But um, I, only, I only want more. My staff want more. My players want more. And we've got to remain humble, keep our feet on the floor. It's just three points. That's all it is. But we also know the importance it was to to everyone associated with the football club and we were bitterly disappointed not to get the three points on our Boxing Day encounter but um, you know four points um, you know we, we, our fans can have the bragging rights but we quickly turn our attention now because this league is, is brutally tough and um, we've got some real big games coming up and we've got to make sure that we uh, keep that positive momentum going and uh, 
yeah, I look forward, look forward to the next week. Let's touch on the fans a little more. Over a thousand of them here today just shows what a big game it is and how important they are. Yeah, they're, they're vital. Like, like I said, the, the whole Shots family were here today. Um, you know, they give us energy. You know, the players are, are giving them energy, and it's um, it's, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, celebrating with them at the end. Um, like I said, we're together. We're, we're stronger. Is there such an important part? And I said, I said to the lads in there, I said this is going to be like a home game today for us. So there's no away advantage. I said this will feel like a home game with our travelling support, and it certainly was. And they, they they pushed us on. And I always say it, they're not the 12th man, they're the 12th and the 13th man. So uh, yeah, they pushed us on. 86 minutes, three games in a week. It's tough. And when you're looking for that extra added little bit of push and that drive. Um, they, they pushed us and, and, and they got it and they, they got their rewards and uh, so pleased that we've been able to deliver three points for them. Of course, like you mentioned, a massive game next week, Maidenhead at home, a chance to bounce back and continue this good form. Yeah, yeah, again, another really tough game. I mean, you know, Alan Devonshire as a manager who's been around this level and produces a very tough team to beat. Uh, you know, they beat Bromley the week before, I don't know how they've got on today, but no, no game's easy. This is going to be really, really tough and we've just got to make sure that we uh, continue to keep working hard and improving. There's loads of areas for us to improve on, um, but there's also a lot of, bit, uh, there's a lot of character and endeavour and, and to, to celebrate today as well. So we've got to keep that confidence in the, in the camp, but also keep humble and keep working hard. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.